Ukraine, 34 people died in Chasiv Yar. The eastern Ukrainian town is inhabited mostly by people who work in nearby factories. The death toll from a missile strike on the five-story apartment block in Chasiv Yar, eastern Ukraine, has reached 34 as rescue teams continued to retrieve bodies from the rubble. According to Kiev, the residential building was hit by Russian rockets fired from Chuckborn systems late on Saturday evening. The latest victim, a nine-year-old, was reported to have been found around half past 11 p.m. on Monday. Ukraine's Ministry of Internal Affairs said in an update late on Monday that the death toll was 33, including one child citing state emergency services. But on Tuesday morning, the number had risen to 34, according to Pavlo Kirilenko, the governor of Donetsk region that includes Chasiv Yar. In an update shared to Telegram just before 9 a.m., Kirilenko said that as of half past 6 a.m., employees of the state emergency service had cleared about 70% of the rubble, though the rescue operation is ongoing. The Russians will bear responsibility for every destroyed and mutilated life, he added. Nine people were saved in the aftermath of the attack, while Pavlo Kirilenko said about three dozen people could still be trapped in the rubble. On Sunday evening, rescuers retrieved a man who had been pinned by fallen bricks and concrete for almost 24 hours. Rescue teams were shown scouring the ruins of the building, its walls completely shorn off by the impact. Cranes and excavators worked alongside emergency workers to clear away debris as front doors and balconies could be seen torn apart. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, accused Moscow of deliberately targeting civilians in the attack on Chasiv Yar. Anyone who gives orders for such strikes, anyone who carries them out in ordinary cities, in residential areas, kills absolutely deliberately, Zelensky said. Punishment is inevitable for every Russian murderer. Andrei Yomak, Zelensky's chief of staff, said the strike was another terrorist attack and that Russia should be designated as a state sponsor of terrorism. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and see you in the next videos.